Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the Plap. Or Platypus is the name, and today we're talking about three things you might have missed in Octopath Traveler 2. Now, these aren't game-breaking, insane things. These are just things that I thought were cool or fun and that you should absolutely do if you haven't done. Anyway, very first, if we come to Gravel here, you'll come into the town during the daytime, and you'll see a little boy here with an item that you cannot steal. A stuffed toy. Weird name. You can't steal it. Will you play with me? Will you play with me? However, did you know that if you go out here, if you leave town, you change it to nighttime, and you wait right here for a couple minutes, and you reload the game, and you change the party because it was already done on one of your saves, you will watch this little boy walk out here. So... You have to wait until basically the day-night cycle transfers over. But now that it's nighttime and he's out here, you can coerce him. Now, I don't want to spoil this part. This part's actually a really, really fun, interesting fight-ish thing. You know, it's a it's probably the most difficult coerce in the game. But I thought this would be really cool if you could experience that on your own. But I do recommend doing this so you can finally find out what's going on with that stuffed toy. Number two, if you've ever been to Stormhail and you've gone south and you've found this little dungeon down here, but you didn't really see much going on in here beneath the wall, you kind of walked in here, didn't see anything going on. You'll see mine looks different. I can't undo this to before and my other save isn't far enough yet. However, if you come here with seven characters and attempt to cross the bridge, you are actually going to break the bridge. And when you break the bridge, you are going to gain access to the Infernal Castle, a level 55 danger level dungeon, which is, this is probably the most interesting hidden dungeon that I could find in the game. Um, I think I've said, you know, I've done all the entirety of the game. And this one was definitely the hardest one to find. I don't think without a little bit of internet help that uh, I would have discovered this one myself. So yeah, go ahead and explore the dungeon. Some great loot, some great boss fights and uh, a lot of great fun. Thirdly, and most importantly, if you've ever been to Merry Hills at night, you actually want to leave the town and then come here at night. This is very important and very powerful. We're going to switch to the nighttime, and we can see down there in the bottom left, there is a character. We're going to run up, run down, run around, and we are going to talk to this character. So, this is the very first time you do this fight. This is, becomes a fight. And after you do this, you actually unlock the Partitio, not Partitio, the Merchant Hired Help option to summon assassins. So let's actually go ahead and remove this, get into a fight. And I'll show you exactly what the summon assassins are capable of. We'll do times two until it's time to go. You're going to defend. You're going to... I don't have a casting my party for some reason. So we're going to go ahead and give... BP to Partitio here. Oh, he already has late engaged, duh. Anyway, so here we go. Times one. That's now we're gonna go to hired help, and now we can hire the foreign assassins. These guys hit like trucks, bro. Yeah, they also heal your HP and SP and hit the pre damage damage cap, the first damage cap. So absolutely busted so let me know if you already knew about these things or if you didn't know about them if any of these things helped you if they didn't help you in the comments down below and if you want to see more videos like this one i already have like 60 octopath traveler 2 videos but there is more on the way and more of other rpgs as well i'm looking to start chained echoes things like that anyway much love for platypus for platypus hope you learned something and i'll see you next time